Hey guys, I'm back today with another video. This one is going to be brought to you by the company RPG Hair. And today I'm going to be showcasing a very affordable curly pixie bob unit. This is what it looks like straight out of the package. This is 8 inches in length. It states that it is 180% in density. Now this unit does come with your two combs on the side, a comb in the middle, a comb in the back, and your adjustable straps. unit also comes with kinky edges and at first I was taken a little aback from it because with this type of curl pattern I feel like the edges should have been more on the curlier side and it just didn't flow together but you guys know I'm going to get it together so the first thing I'm going to do is comb out those edges and then I'm also going to take my tweezer and thin them out that way I can figure out exactly how I want to style it. Have the lace cut off i'm going to be using my olive oil fix it hole spray and i'm just going to spray that on my skin and then place the lace on top and then i'm also going to use my comb and just kind of press everything down now on the side i'm going to spray underneath the lace also that just kind of helps give it some extra security this is a medium cap size i feel like the medium cap size on this was fine you guys know i have a small head but i don't feel like the fit was off This unit also comes with four inches of parting space. So you're gonna get most of your parting in the middle and then you get more parting space on the side. Now it does state that these knots are bleached. However, I did still notice that there were some darker knots that were popping through. I'm like, let me get this hat together because I am really looking like Wanda. Like I got the bike holiday. Let me fix it up. So I'm going to be taking my hot comb and I'm just going to press out these edges. You guys know I usually don't like to do this when it comes to the kinky edges, but because I need this to flow a little bit better, then I'm just going to have to press a little bit. Now, you also see some of the hair is coming out from when I tweezed it because the hair in the front is so coarse. So it was shedding a bit comb through the hair this is being styled straight out of the package so i did not wash or do anything to it the hair on this was really soft straight out of the package but i want to see how these curls are going to form together so i'm using my water bottle and the product that i'm going to use in the hair today is going to be my tresemme flawless curl cream because i want lightweight curls i don't want them to look heavy So I'm making sure to really diffuse this. It didn't take long, but I also let some of the hair air dry while I went ahead and put my makeup on because <laughs> you know your girl got to clean up for the last look. So now I'm just going to place my clips in and then we need to finish up this hairline. It's blended in really well to my skin and I do need to cut down some of the hair a little bit more. I was thinking about curling the hairs but I really want them to kind of curl up just a little bit. So I'm going to be kind of swooping and seeing exactly where I need to be before I add my product. But I will be using mousse to swoop the hairs over. And the hair did start to revert back. Okay, it started to revert back to a tighter curl. But I feel like it matched the hair a bit more.
placing some powder into the parting space area because it does come off just a little bit darker and I want to brighten it up some. Also, I want to blow dry some of the front area down a little bit from using that mousse because I don't want it too wet when I fluff the hair back over. And it doesn't take me long. I did blow dry this on cool just for a more softer look. Now, once I am done drying that down, I'm going to go in with my Sleek and Shine Serum and I'm going to work on fluffing up this hair and also trimming some of those longer pieces down. Fluff up the hair a little bit more in the root area. And I like the way the roots look, y'all. They're not too straight, so I was happy about that. But this is the final look. For $99 plus free shipping, I'm not too mad at this. Curls on this are looking nice. The density is fine. Now, I did get a little bit of shedding, but it was only because I did tweets out in the front area. Tangles, I'm not expecting much, but it is a curly unit, so you are going to have to maintain it. This hairline looks good. I didn't have to go in and pluck behind the kinky edges, so I feel like that was already taken care of. I do wish it was more parting space, but look, it's $99, girl. Quit complaining. Maybe stop complaining. So let me know what you guys think about this unit. It's super affordable. I think this is going to be great for the summertime, especially for those who don't want to break the bank. If you are feeling this one, I'm going to make sure to leave the links down below. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel, turn those notifications on, share and like this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.